Hi guys, so we are just back from a hiking trip actually. Um, Noelle and my boyfriend, they have gone to his parents' house to help build a cabin and I have decided that me and Diego are going to go backpacking. Just one night, but I recently bought a small tent so I can go on my own because I don't want to carry around the big three-person tent that we have and I'm going to be testing it out today. Uh, it's just me and Diego. He is tired from <laughs> the first hike that we had. And yeah, I thought I would bring you guys along. So, what do I want for dinner today? I haven't tried any of these, so we'll be testing them out, whichever we go for. Uh, it's either chicken tikka with rice, kebab stew or goulash with uh, meat and noodles. Which one do we want? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with the chicken tikka. Summit to eat. We're gonna be testing this one out today. So I think I've found like most of the stuff. Probably a few bits and pieces still missing, but I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm taking. This is my backpack. This is the new tent that I was talking about. Uh, my sleeping pad. I'm bringing a book. This is the dog's first aid kit, toilet paper, pillow, sleeping bag for Diego, my dinner. Um, I'm still missing dog food and some more food for myself. Uh, two of these cups, one for me, one for Diego. I like to use them as dog bowls as well. Jet boil, fuel, clothes. In here I have a fleece and a hat and a t-shirt and woolly socks. I think that's it. And my sleeping bag. So yeah, most of the stuff is here. And this is what I'm taking. Oh, and also, yeah, we have here my GoPro is charging and my power bank is charging. So that's... I'm also bringing that. So the pack is packed and it's actually a pretty big pack for a small person. It's 75 litres, but I really like it because I can bring all the things with me. So here's a little toll road and I thought I'd show you how you pay toll on Norwegian private roads. <laughs> it's like, it's like this. And you need to have the exact amount of cash. It says, 20 with or 30 somebody's written a three over their krona i only have 50 so they're getting 50 but yes it's extremely like <laughs> not very high tech but at least i have cash with me this time so i don't have to turn around and find cash so i just made it to the start of the trail uh there are actually many cars in the parking lot and it's a beautiful day so let's get going and we are off it's a beautiful day, the sun is out. Um, the first half of the day was actually a bit cloudy, but the clouds are gone. It's so nice outside. It's gonna be a lovely trip. I think the water is like in between those mountains <sighs> and that's where we're going. That mountain is a very popular hike and I think that's why there were so many cars in the parking lot. where I should have been wearing a t-shirt. I'm wearing a long sleeved shirt and pants and I'm basically like sweating so much. All right guys, we made it to the water. There are a few other campers around here so we need to find a nice little spot of our own. But look how pretty it is. We found our spot. I walked, I walked pretty far away from the other tents because I like being on my own. They are like behind, behind there, we can't even see them, so this is going to be perfect. This little spot here, let's get set up. Alright, 
Right, so we are all settled in for the night. I thought I'd show you inside the tent. I was wondering whether I should get like the one person or the two person I, and I went for the two person tent and I'm really happy about it because if there's two dogs in here and me it can get a bit crowded and I like the extra space and it's got two openings which I also like one on each side one person tent only had one opening uh, so yeah it of course weighs a bit more but I like it so here's where the water runs out into a little river. Let's check out the bridge. And here we are chilling. Quite a nice view outside the tent. Diego is relaxing. Oh, he's so tired today. Yes. What I really like about this tent is that you can like open it up completely. Uh, and this is like mesh netting so bugs don't get in but you can still like enjoy enjoy the place you're camping so I think it's a good time to eat I'm gonna go down to the water boil some water for my food give Diego some food I'm hungry so it's gonna taste good Lamat come on Alright, so the lighting is terrible, but it's time to try our chicken tikka dinner. It's very soupy, I thought it was going to be more like a stew and less like a soup, but let's see how it tastes. Oh, it's very, very warm. It's very warm, but I'm not impressed. Usually, when we're more people, we are good at like making proper food. So I don't usually eat these like easy packaged meals like this one. So it's a first for me. And I mean, it's okay. It's okay, but I'm not overly impressed. I prefer making proper food, but this is like super easy when I'm on my own. So it's okay. And I'm hungry, so it will do. I managed to spill some food right outside the tent. So to avoid an ant infestation, I'm getting Diego to eat it up. You know, it's handy having a dog around. Also, the place here is so beautiful, but there are surprisingly many people. Usually when I hike into a place like this to spend the night, I'm the only one. But there's like a teenager group, groups of families, couples, I don't know why, like this place is very popular, maybe it's just today, I don't know, maybe it's every weekend, but a bit too crowded for me. I don't like hearing like kids screaming outside my tent, but yeah, maybe that's just me. I come back from brushing my teeth and someone has gotten comfy in my sleeping bag, <laughs> Diego. All right, so I'm in my sleeping bag, Diego is in his sleeping bag, and I think we're gonna call it a day. It's still light outside because the sun doesn't set until very late and gets up very early here in the summer. Um, usually it doesn't bother me that it's light, but I've noticed that this tent lets in a bit more light than our other tent, so hopefully that's not gonna be a problem. Anyway, good night. Good morning guys, so I've just woken up. It was actually pretty cold tonight so I put Diego in my sleeping bag to help keep him warm and also so he could warm me up. He gets cold really easily too so it was nice to have something warm to snuggle up with. Um, now that the sun is up though, it's getting rather hot inside this tent. It's a beautiful day. The sun is up again. 
So it's actually pretty ridiculous that I don't have any shorts with me. Yesterday when I hiked up here, I met a lot of people going down who finished their day hike and they were just wearing shorts and shorts and a sports bra. And I was wearing long trousers, long sleeve top and all of it was almost all black. So I was sweating so bad. <laughs> this is me every time. I think I'm gonna be cold and then I just end up sweating so much. The shadow side of the tent isn't drying at all so I think we're just gonna pack up wet and hang it up when we get home it's such a nice day all packed up and ready to go bye bye place bye bye nice place there's my pack and there's my dog let's get going and we've made it back down to the parking lot Woohoo! Many cars today too. I think our car is like a million degrees right now. <laughs> Luckily we have air conditioning that works pretty fast.